Hello guys, Say Bye Live back again with another competitive moveset video. Today we're going to be going over Gumshoes. Gumshoes is a mod that we saw hyped a lot for the Sun and Moon trailers. It does get the new ability Stakeout, boosting the damage if a target switches out. So if they switch out and a mod comes in, they're going to take double damage from your stab return or whatever uh, move that you choose to go for. So when we look at its other abilities, we have Strong Jaw that boosts your bite based attacks. It's only really going to boost like Crunch and Bite, so there's no reason to run that ability. Then we have Adaptability, that's going to be the main ability that you're going to be using. Boost your return to a base 204 move. So when we look at the stats, its stats are pretty mediocre. It has more than better than average HP and decent attack. The rest of the stats are pretty bad. Defensively, can't take any real hits. And then we have really bad speed, really bad special attack, so not too many positives there. So when we look at the moveset here, uh, this is the only moveset that I see maybe getting some kind of work. So we just have max attack, max speed, adamant, just to be able to hit as hard as possible. Max speed so that we can outspeed as many walls as possible, because you do outspeed up to like Skarmory as well as neutral base 40s, 45s I guess. So I guess, you know, that's cool or whatever. Um, so adaptability, preferred ability, we want to boost that return to a high, you know, base power. Return is going to be the main thing that you're clicking most of the time. Earthquake is just to hit those steel types like Jirachi, Metagross, stuff like that. If you even manage to live a hit from Metagross, which you probably get O-Code, but that's besides the point. Um, Crunch Pursuit, just to be able to hit Ghost Types, Crunch hitting them for super effective damage, and Pursuit being able to trap them. You can run U-Turn if you want over Pursuit. I just don't see any point in trying to run U-Turn if you're going to take damage and this thing is going to be a one-for-one -one type mon, so you don't really want to be taking all that type of damage on it. You want to be able to preserve its health to maybe take a hit from something and then be able to kill it and then die pretty much after that. So. In terms of viability, I don't see Normal gaining too much from this mon. Normal already has a fantastic normal physical attacker in... What am I typing? In Diggersby. Diggersby has the ability huge power, boosting its attack to really high levels. It also has really great stabs in return plus Earthquake, hitting most of the metagame. And then we have Fire Punch to hit like Skarmories and stuff like that. And then you have like Quick Attack, Priority. And then you have you have knockoff to hit ghost types. You also have U-turn to get that slow U-turn off, or if you want to run the scarf, you can just pivot out from there. So this mod is pretty bad. Don't use it unless you want to meme around, and be like make a Lola great again or something like that. There's no reason to use this mod. Please don't. If you're trying to make a serious team top the ladder, don't use this mod, please. It's really bad. So that's the move set. I'll see, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.